Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Hardcore Survival and Project Zomboid. We are picking up here a couple days after our last episode, after our Christmas Zomboid episode. Um, just a little south of the no-name town, um, outside of Riverside? Yeah, <laughs> almost forgot the town name. It's been so long since we were up there. But uh, today, we are out on the road, heading towards one of the... Uh, hunting, um, I don't know what you would call it, uh, hunter's, hunting store, I guess? Hunting lodge? Uh, out, uh, kind of the far, what would it be, far west edge of the map. So, that's kind of the general area we're in right now. We're just driving through some countryside, uh, there's a few houses and farms over here. We're gonna be passing, uh, going past a like a spiffo's or some sort of restaurant and a gas station which we'll check out on our way back uh but yeah gonna try and see if we can get some more ammunition maybe some more guns and attachments uh possibly some more hunting knives uh, all that kind of stuff uh, we aren't fully healed yet from our uh broken foot but um i am able to sprint fairly well at the moment it is december 29th so a couple days away uh, to the new year. So I thought we'd, we we should be able to do fairly well for ourselves out and about here. There's that restaurant. Um, I'll just show you. There's a gas station over here as well. I don't know why there's no zombies. This is very strange. Uh, but there's a gas station here. We'll check that out. Yeah, very strange. No zombies at all. Oh well, we'll take it. Uh, but I think the hunting lodge is, I think it's down this path, so I'll uh, cut back once we're there. But we'll be essentially going down some back roads here to get there. So we'll be back in a second. Okay, we're almost there. Just uh, a little bit further here. We should be coming up to a little bit of a uh, intersection. Uh, if go down to the right uh, it looks like there's another hunting lodge out there but the one the first one we're gonna go to is out on the uh, westernmost highway which is just up this direction I think this will lead us directly to the parking lot it's a little bit of a windy road kinda like uh, the back road by our base when you head down into West Point Try not to crash into any trees. A couple more turns and we should be there. Come on. Oh. Uh, there's something back there. Another turn off here. Okay, here's the highway. So. Should just be up here or maybe it's back behind us. Uh, I think it was pretty close to that road, so let me just turn this thing around. <laughs> nice little power slide. Wasn't sure which direction off of that back road it was, but it must be down south from it. Because there's that road up there, which uh, there's some sort of building up there. It's a gas station. Oh, here we go. This is what we want. So, I'm very surprised that there's no uh, zombie activity out here. You know, is it this building or is it this one here? I think it's this one here. So, let's park the ambulance. Hop out. I might need the uh, sledgehammer or our axe at the very least. These are all uh, barred windows, but you can see uh, guns in the cabinets there. Oh, and it's open. Pick up another deer head too. Let's just make sure there's no one in here. It is a little bit dark. Oh, there's a zombie. Two zombies. Okay. Let's leave them in there. It'll take them a while to get out of that anyway. But they're not even knocking in right now anyway, so. Okay, we've got some shotgun shells. Let's see, more ammunition, 223 rounds, 308. It'd be nice if we could find a hunting rifle. It's kind of the only thing we're missing. More ammo straps, another sling. 
So I think we have a varmint rifle. But I don't think we have a hunting rifle yet. And they are knocking on that door now. Alright, nothing there that we really want. Or there. Let's take some more magazines. And let's actually open this up. But as you can see, I can sprint fairly well. Uh, with our broken foot, so. We should be able to escape any danger that we come in across. Alright, no one else in there. Um, let's actually... Was that a hunting rifle right there? There we go, hunting rifle. Nice. And a fiberglass stock. Cool. Let's pick these up. Like I said, I believe we have a varmint rifle back home. Oh, another hunting rifle. All right. Might as well pick that up as well. More ammunition. Four times scope. That'll be good for the rifle. And 308 rounds. Nice. All right, I'm going to take this uh, mounted deer trophy. We have one back home. This will make it two. And let me just drop this off in the back. And I think we'll probably just sleep on a chair in here. A little bit hungry. I did make some more fish filet burgers, so let's go ahead and eat half of one. I think there's a door here to get back there. Yeah, to the little office space. That goes outside. That's locked. Okay, so we'll need to uh, use our axe to get in there because there's no keys. So let's get our axe out. And my sleeping schedule is all sorts of messed up from taking uh, sleeping tablets. Usually we'd be tired at this time. Almost two in the morning. Switch back out to our knife. Looks like we're clear. And our pistol with a laser. Premium Technologies Ham Radio. We already have one of those back home in our radio room. Let's just take all the ammo. Don't really need another pistol. Alright, cool. Uh, it has a laser on it, but um, we've already got a couple laser attachments. Okay, so is there a chair anywhere? There's some chairs here. This will not be a very comfortable sleep, but we will set that up uh, just back in here, I guess. Or actually, we could do it back in here. I don't think anyone will break in. It looks pretty quiet out there. Uh, let's sleep. We won't need to sleep very long because we're not very tired. If it gets too cold, that might wake us up. I think we're past the cold snap though. Those first, uh, that first week of me uh, mending the foot, I had some very cold nights. But it seems to be quite a bit warmer now. And a little bit of pain. Let's go ahead and take a pill. I don't think there's anything else back there. Let's just hop in the ambulance, check out these other buildings around here. Minus two outside right now. Come on. So I think we've only been to this end of the map once before in uh, a separate playthrough. We're getting pretty close this playthrough to kind of going everywhere on the map. There's not many places left that we haven't been. Uh, it's, I think it's probably pretty much West Point and Muldra. Now we've been to both those places, just not 
the entirety of those places, so. Pick up some fishing gear. Continue fishing in the spring. Uh, tent peg, don't need that. Fishing net trap, we'll take that though. I turned up the volume of the music, it might be a little bit loud. Let me just turn that down. Okay, turn that down a little bit. Yeah, those tents you can't pick up. Oh, there's a zombie in there. Some earbuds. Let's take those. We're also getting close to uh, 6,000 zombie kills. That'll be a, a good milestone. Uh, should be in the next month or so, as long as we continue, continue to get out. Uh, also, our gaining weight, so we're back over 75, so not underweight anymore. Kind of caught that just in time. Gunshots outside. Oh, I thought that was uh, a zombie knocking on the window, but I think it was just the wind. Let's go ahead and dismantle this radio. Don't need that. We're just keeping an electronic scrap and any aluminum. Nothing on that one. Okay. Oh, a fishing rod in the garbage. Yeah, that's the first time I found something like that in the garbage. Uh, okay, I think that's it for this place. Uh, nothing else down there. Let's head across the highway and check out uh, that other side road. There should be another building up there. Or else why would they have this here? Yeah, it's got a gas station here too. And a diner. Just gonna try and search the stuff as quickly as possible so we can get down and check out uh, the other hunting lodge. There we go. Can we take these? Oh, we can take these. 50s diner table. That would be cool. Uh, you know what is in this 50s diner? Another 50s jukebox player. Kind of tempted to take this one. Add to our collection of jukeboxes. And I wouldn't mind picking up this open sign as well. Too bad we can't take the, uh, the diner lettering. That'd be cool. All right, let's toss this jukebox in the back, along with the open sign. Got lots of room in the uh, trunk of the car here. Still a bit overweight. What am I carrying here? Got this wrench out. Put that away. I think I was looking for another hood. Uh, let's put our axe away for now. We don't need that. Cool. Oh, and there is a zombie here. We didn't even see her. Or I didn't see her. You guys may have. Oh, two in there. I got the diner key. Let's fill up our water. Get out our knife. Now, one of the updates, we talked about it before briefly, but every time you fill up your water, uh, you actually equip your water primary, so you gotta make sure to remember to switch those back out. Their flashlight. All right, any food in here for us? Not really. These are all containers though, that's nice. Uh, another 
light. Ah, I'm going to take the lighter, actually. I have been uh, lighting up that fireplace in our bedroom quite a bit. And that uh, does use that up over time. One of those lighters up over time. Okay. I'm going to grab this. I'm thinking about um, redoing our kitchen area. Our deck kitchen. Maybe enclose that. Um, so I can have more wall space, so I can <laughs> hang up some of our decorations a bit easier. Hmm. It would be kind of cool to have one of these diner table. We could even uh, replace our um, our makeshift table on the deck with this. But this is probably going to break into two pieces, my guess. So that's going to be 30 units. Uh, but that would fit on one of our seats, actually. Let's take it. Let's take one. And how much would these benches weigh? Maybe we could take one back. 10. Not that much, actually. All right. I'm going to put this onto one of our back seats. So that's the perfect weight for that. And then I'm going to pick up one of these benches too. And that comes in two pieces as well. Okay, so that's 20. Let's take that. And we're going to put this on one of the back seats as well. Cool. And then the menu can go back here. The pie menu. Take a look at the gas station. I don't think we're going to bother. I do have a generator in the back on one of the seats, but I don't think we're going to bother hooking this one up. It's a little bit out of the way. Oh, we got zombies in there. Hear more footsteps. Okay. Any car parts worth taking in here? Let's grab that stuff. Another lighter. I already have a hot dog stand, so I don't need that. Don't need the gas cans or the battery charger. Uh, might as well just put this into the ambulance, though. Top it up a bit. Let's check the freezers. Nothing. Another wrench. More chips, more gas. Empty. Another gas can. Nice. Might be enough to just fill up our car. Purse, fishing, a tarp. I don't think we need a tarp or anything. More fishing line though, that's awesome. Two. We found three rolls so far today. Charcoal radio. Alright, not bad. No car parts, but uh, it's not a huge deal. Let's go ahead and eat some more burger. Uh, drop this stuff, move that over. Bag's probably close to being full, yep. Yeah. Alright, cool. Hmm, cash register. Hmm. Alright. Let's see here. Yeah, the gas. So let's fill this up. I do actually need to go on a gas run soon. Oh my god, this takes a long time. Did they increase the time on that? Feels like that might be longer. Um, well, why won't it bring up my... Here we go. 
Yeah, that feels a lot longer than it was before. Although the last few times we've actually just filled up at the pumps, which goes super fast. Hmm. I think I have to be at the back to access this menu. Otherwise, it just uh, removes my uh, my HUD. All right, I think that was it. We have one more. Nope, that must be full. Dump those in there. Dump that. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much everything for out in this area of the map. Let's head back to that back road. And uh, we'll take a look at what looked like a uh, second hunting lodge. Um, oh god. My brakes were horrible there. <laughs> Let's just take a quick look here. It looks like there's a house. Why is my brake so bad? Let me just take a look here. Oh, I guess I can't do that with it running. Why can't I pop the hood? That was strange. Um, well, our, uh, I guess the brakes are getting kind of low. Seems very sluggish. Our tire, maybe? 56%. 71, 67. I think it's from pulling the e-brake so much. It's probably uh, degrading our tires. All right, let's quickly check these. And we can say this area is completed. Lots of stuff there, but it's all been red. Generators. Rotten. More sparklers. Nice. Timer. Yeah, I think we tried using that before. It didn't work for anything. Excuse me. Spray key. Once our foot is fully healed, we're going to be making a run to the prison. So, I know you guys have been patiently waiting for that. Yeah, that's everything there. So, I don't think it'll be too much longer because, as you can see, we can move around fairly well. I did check it um, just before this episode and it was still fractured but I don't think it'd be much longer from here. Alright, so this bag is full. Let's quickly check this. And then we'll head down to the other hunting lodge. So we'll just toss the stuff into our bag, our backpack. Dismantle, another fishing rod. More scrap. Nails. Hammers. Ooh, nice, another uh, remote controller. Looks like it's uh, one of the rare electrician houses. Cool. Always like coming across these houses. So we've seen farmers' houses with farming gear. Uh, we've seen electricians. What other ones are there out there? Uh. 
I assume once the uh, animation update comes out eventually, uh, there'll be even more specialized houses. Right, nothing there we want anyway. Alright, cool. Back in the car. And let's actually drop off this big hiking bag since it's full. I can go down here. Let's drop this stuff. Move that over. Alright, cool. Oh. Whoops. Yeah, that bag is completely full. Alright, so let's drop that off there. Let's grab a duffel bag. Oh, I put our wrong bag in there. That was our backpack, I should have uh, noticed from the, uh, the label on there. Okay, cool. Grab secondary. Didn't wait long enough. Alright, cool. Alright, we're doing good for time. Just under half hour. Oh god, there's one more house. Let's leave that running. We're in a rush. Uh, this looks like a empty house anyway. in here. Alright, I'm not even gonna bother. Onward we go. 4.40 p.m. I wanna try and get this stuff done before it gets dark out. Alright, so back down... nope, oh, not here. Where was that road? Over this way, right? Yeah, right here. Okay, so back down here. There is the crossroad we want. I oh, know this is just another house. I swear, I want to get down to the next place, but they're throwing all these other locations at us. And it looks like there could be some worthwhile stuff in there. Move a couple of these things over. Alright, so let's knock that down. Didn't take much. More welding stuff. If we could find more pipes, that'd be great. Metal tubes. So we can continue work on our fence. This stuff. Cool. Another fire extinguisher. We have about a dozen back home. So if our base ever catches on fire, we will be prepared. Just get a few options ready for us here. Looks like it might just be the one zombie in there. Here we go. Pillow. Pillow, pillow, pillow. Aha. Nice. Carrots, okay. More pasta. Uh, that pass and rice, um, pretty good. You can add a lot of um, spices like ketchup and marinara, uh, which really increases the uh, boredom reduction, which is really cool to see. Alright, I think that's it for this one. Yeah, 
slide and a swing set in the back. I've already tried picking up a swing set. Not possible. Speaking of our rice dishes, uh, no, actually, I have passed on the seat here. Let's go ahead and eat one of those. Okay. I think that's it for distractions. I think we can get down to this last location for this episode at least. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Ouch. That hurt quite a bit. Luckily we just ate. Yeah, like my my brakes seem very sluggish. I think we need to replace those when we get back. Okay, here's a crossroad. Right there we go. So we'll go down here, and then this will turn into a dirt road. We might want to just go in on foot from there. So we don't damage the car too much more. I've uh, got enough room in our bag. Ah, uh, yeah. Good little workout for the, the broken foot here. So, I'm not sure how far down it is. I think if we just keep following this, we'll end up at a, uh, a building, which looked to be a hunting lodge of some sort. That's definitely uh, a long way in. Good thing I didn't take the car. It's just way too much overgrowth here. We'd never have made it through. It's probably just as fast running in. Alright, this must be it up here. Keep following the uh, the bigger dirt path. This might actually make for a decent base out here, out in the middle of the forest. I'll keep that in mind uh, for a future playthrough. Although it is way out of the way on this edge of the map, It'd be a long trek in to get anywhere. Yep, yeah, looks like there's some concrete. And there we go. This definitely looks like a hunting lodge, hey? Even got some soda outside still. Wow, that was a long run in. It's 8 p.m. Alright, so we'll do our sweep first. Got a radio on here. Ooh, we got a map. That might be good for uh, our radio room, actually. Um, let's turn this off. Got an upstairs to check out. Locker room. Alright, nothing in there. Or no one in there, I should say. Bathroom? And a shower? Cool. Could do more dismantling of uh, plumbing while we're here. Since there's so much of it, might be a good opportunity. Especially if there's two bathrooms. Let's check all these stalls. Don't want someone breaking out in the middle of the night. Oh, got some beds in here, nice. So we'll sleep in here instead of on a chair. Still another hour or so before our cat eyes kick in. Okay, main floor is secure. Let's check upstairs. Oh, just a lounge area. Storage room, okay. Kitchen area. Is that it for up here? Yeah. Now, how do they have windows here? 
There must be single wall panels that we can't see. Yeah, this would be a pretty cool base, though. What do you guys think? Alright, let's grab all the stuff we can. And then we'll sleep downstairs in that uh, bedroom with all the cots. Oh, another cold pack. I don't know if we're ever going to use all those cold packs we've collected. We've still yet to use a single smoke bomb. Some we fishing rods today, too. Jesus. And more fishing line. Fishing line and fishing tackle today. Nothing in there. I suppose there could be ammunition that spawns there. Okay, um, I kind of want this map. Map of USA. Only weighs two. Uh, we already have flags. Let's check all these. Pencils. Let's take another deer trophy. Oh, what was in there? Pencils. Um, let me just, uh, double check if there's anything else we want to search here first. Yeah, we'll do those bathrooms in the morning. Uh, another duffel bag. Take that. Mirror. Headphones. Shoes and socks. Okay, cool. So, let's get to bed. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, yeah, I didn't actually bring any food. My bad. Um, we have scavenged them, though. Yeah, so if we get hungry in the morning, we'll have something to eat. Okay. Let's sleep here the night. Uh, let me just transfer over a few things here that are weighing us down. So we have a nice restful sleep. Alright, looks good. Alright. Sleep away. There we go. Early morning. I think we should do some metalworking. So we're so close. Let's at least get to level 4. We're so close to that. There's definitely the opportunity to do it here. Let's pull that out. Can't remember if we need both. Yeah, we need our welding mask too. Where is that? Okay. Disassemble this. Remember, it takes a long time. And how much do we need? 651, 700. Hopefully we can get all that. Oh, fog's rolling in. Oh, and we got a pipe metal tube. Uh, let's fill up our water bottle first. Look how thick that fog is, though. I love the new weather effects. Alright, dismantle this. We're up to 663. Good god, it's going slow. Dismantle that. Another pipe for a pipe bomb. Do the toilets. Assemble this. Yeah, like if you set up a base here, you'd have a lot of water. Uh, between the, like the showers and everything. It'd be a lot of water to last you a while. 
So there's two, four sinks, uh, six toilets, and then six showers. That's a lot. Okay, we're um, hurting ourselves with our heavy load. Uh, maybe we should just drop our bags there while we're dismantling this stuff. And I'm gonna eat some chips, eat some chocolate, start healing a bit. Up the tube and continue on here. If we can get this stuff done by noon, we should be able to get back down to that restaurant and gas station and finish off the episode. And how close are we here? Must be very close. 720. Yep, yeah, just a few more. I think we'll have just enough. It is so thick out there, you can you can hardly see anything. I think this is the thickest fog I've seen. All right. Oh. Oh, are we out of um, propane in our torch? No. Why? Why can't we disassemble this? There we go. Come on, let this be the one. Oh God, it's so close, where are we at? 7.45, oh my God. Is there anything else in here? How about these doors? Metalworking, nice. Hell yeah. Level four, metalworking. Fantastic. Unusable metal. All right, let's pick up our stuff. Let's move those tubes out. Equip secondary. Pick this bag up. Ah, oh, we're still carrying something really heavy. All of these metal tubes. Alright, I guess we're gonna three bag it out of here. That should help quite a bit. Alright, still a bit overweight, but good enough. Let's get out into the fog. Wow. That's nuts. <laughs> It's gonna be hard to even just stick to the path with this fog. Holy crap. Okay, down here. I have a general idea of what the path back will look like. Oh my god, this just goes back up there though. <laughs> Where does the path lead to? Down here, it must be. I got a general idea. Oh god, I'm lost. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna find my way back to the ambulance. And we'll pick up for uh, the end of this episode where we're gonna check out that other gas station. And uh, the other restaurant. We'll be back in a second. Finally, that fog lifted as well on the way back. That was crazy thick though. Okay, well, back in we go to get this guy turned around without crashing into everything. Yeah, that fog was so thick. I could see how if that rolled in while you were looting in a city, that would make things very dangerous. Okay, let's head back uh, down uh, to that gas station.
So, the main reason I wanted to come down here uh, to this gas station uh, before the episode ended was there's something really cool in here that we absolutely must have back at the base. So, let's, uh, I think it's actually, yeah, in this building down here. Oh, we might hook up a, we might hook up a generator here, too, while we're down here. But the one thing that we really want, um, first, let's drop off another one of these bags. Um, I'm just gonna have to put it in the back. Hold on, hold on, hold on with me. Hang in there. Which one I want? This one? Toss that back there. Okay. Where's the door? We're gonna have to break our way in. Let's put this secondary. Smash that window. You can see in the back corner there's a Kaboom arcade machine. That's the one arcade machine we don't have. So we can finish up our game room. Let's go ahead and grab that. Weighs 20, so that should still fit in the back of the, uh, the ambulance there. I think I've left enough room. So pretty cool, eh? We have all three arcade machines. I think there's just three. If there's more, uh, let me know. But I believe there's just three. There we go. And that fits like a glove back there. Just a couple units to spare. Okay, and I am going to hook up a gas, um, a generator back here. It seems pretty quiet. And uh, it's not overly far away. Just need to lighten our load a little bit. Um, let's see, what else can I drop? Let's drop those. That should be enough. Get this connected. Let's drop that right here. Connect that up. Cool. So that is good to go. Possibly our fifth or our sixth gas station. Being connected. All right, we're a little bit hungry. Grab a quick bite of some pasta. Eat that, and we'll finish looting this, and then uh, we will. I think call it a day. Uh, Jack. Containers, chips. Not a lot in here. Uh, value type sport. Another gas can. Another battery charger. A uh, heavy duty battery for a heavy duty car. Our tire pump, gas can. Anything cool in storage? Ah, more plaster powder. Nice, we'll take that. And the barbed wire. Okay, I think that does it. Uh, our car is pretty full. I think I just have, yeah, one seat left. So I think I'm happy with that. I might do a little bit more looting of these other buildings. Uh, but we'll come back next episode, uh, do a little bit of a base tour, see all the new stuff that we've picked up uh, in the last uh, several episodes, because we do have uh, that piano that we picked up a couple episodes ago. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to finish kind of searching this place, and then, uh, yeah, we'll be back for another adventure in the next episode. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Until next time, I'll talk to you all later.